Thank you for calling Capital One Bank. Please hold while we connect you to our fraud specialist. Hello? Um, yeah, I just got disconnected. I'm trying to talk to somebody about this notification I got for a charge I didn't do. Can you help me? Yes. Yes, I can help you out with that. First of all, confirm me your name. It's Penelope Bailey. All right, now do you have the card handy? Um, it's in my wallet. Why? You just go ahead and grab your card handy to confirm me the expiration date on it. All right, hold hold on a second. Um, all right, um, the expiration date is 6 of 2025. 6 2025. Mm -hmm. To flip the card, you can see the three digits. Confirm me that. Um, on the back of the card? Yeah, the back of the card, you can see the three digits. It's, Below the signature panel. Yeah, I know. I know what the C. Digits. I know what the code is. But you guys, um, you, I mean, don't you need like my um, my my last four of my social or my pin number to look me up? Yes, I also need that. But right now, I just want to confirm the three digit the back of your card. Then I will let you know exactly. It's one zero nine. All right. And what is the card holder name appear on your card? The name I just gave you, Penelope Bailey. Any middle initial? No. All right. Now, lastly, confirm me the whole numbers. Okay, um, you never asked me for the whole number. Can you just look me up by the last four of my social? The last four of the card are 0010. The last four of my social are 1126. And my PIN is 5045. I also have that information. But to verify your card, I just want to know the card, the full card number. Um, you never asked me that before. But right now I need that, ma'am. Why? Because after that, I just go ahead and pull out your recent transaction on your account, then I will let you know. Well, if you have uh, all my information right there, you don't need the whole card number. You said you have all the information, like that, like my last word, my social, my PIN. You should be able to pull it all up right there. Okay, thank you so much for holding. I did pull up your account details, and I can see here there was a scrolling charge on your account of $485. So the merchant name is... Emirates Airline. Yeah, that's what so it says. No, no, that wasn't me. Okay, so it's not you. So, uh, you know, my wife, in order to decline this charge on your account, I need your car number. And I'm going to just go ahead and decline this charge on your car. And also, if you want to uh, cancel this car, I'm going to just go ahead and cancel this car and send you a new car on your mailing address. Right? All right. Or if you have all my information in front of you, why do you need all? Why do you need the whole card number? You never need that. Let me tell you, first of all, you know, actually, in order to protect your account, actually, your account is under inactivity transaction. So, for, I don't know who you are, you know, so first of all, I need to verify your identity. Before we start the conversation... Okay, you already got... Okay, you, you verified my identity with the PIN that you have on file with the last four of my social. You don't need the mm -hmm. whole card number. You've got all the information right there. Giving you my whole card number okay. doesn't verify who I am. I've already done that. Okay, let me tell you. Right now, uh... In order to decline this charge, they can show me your card detail, but uh, right now your account is under in hold and we will just freeze your account. So they can show me only a star, 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 a static forms. So I'm going to just put your card details to my system, then they can allow me to access to decline this charge. Okay, you've never had to have, you've never had to do this to decline a charge before, not ever. Not ever. Mm -mm. The thing is that uh, right now you are talking to the pro fraud prevention I talked department. to the fraud department before, not... sir, of Capital One. I've talked to them. So let me just go ahead and transfer this call to my manager. Maybe he will assist you further. All right. I hope so. Thank you so much for holding at the line. My name is Jonathan Adams here. I'm calling you from Credit Card Fraud Protection Department. Yeah. How are you doing today? I'm not very happy. I'm not very happy because there's a charge on my card that I don't recognize. And the other gentleman um, doesn't seem to understand. I mean, he pulled up all my information. He said he knew who I was and could see my account and everything. But yeah, he was asking for my whole credit card number. And that's concerning to me because you guys don't usually do that. You already verified my social, my PIN. Okay, I understand you, ma'am. First of all, I believe you are talking to one of my representatives. And, uh, you know, thing is that right now I can see here, there was a fraud line charge on your account. And uh, do you know somebody else in Texas? In Texas? No. No. So thing is that, you know, actually someone has your account detail and they can try to use your card detail. Can you please tell me, first of all, your card is in your possession right now or is it stolen? 
Um, I've got it. I gave it. I gave him the last four of the card number. I gave him the CVV number on the back. I gave him my pin and my my last four of my social. Okay, let me tell you, ma'am, before we start the conversation, actually, Capital One Bank is showing uh, is, is going to be changed the privacy, and uh, you know it's a company and bank policy. We just need to verify your identity first of all. Right, so you did that, sir. He are, you, he already are, did that. He ahead, he had my you had listen to me. he had no he had my account listen right in front of his face. He already did that. He, he has your account detail. He has your account detail, but I don't have your account. Detail. Why don't you get it from him then? So can you please tell me if you are not comfortable to provide me your card detail? Can I have your full social security number? You want my Take whole? You want my whole social security number? Sure, you can provide me your whole social or your car account. All right, I'll account. give you my social. It's one one two six. I gave him that. And can I have your date of birth, please? It's February second, nineteen sixty seven. Thank you. And what is the best telephone number if the call was disconnected? I will call you back. Um, the number I'm calling you on now. Okay, and for the story purpose, can I have your mother's maiden name before she got married? It's O'Leary. Give me a moment. Okay, so now I'm going to put you on hold and I will be right back, okay? All right, thank you. Yes, I'm going to try my best to decline this charge on your account. What do you mean try? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, what do you mean try? Just decline it. I didn't do it. Mm -hmm. Mrs., uh, can I have your first name, please, first of all? It's Penelope. Penelope. It's Penelope. Penelope. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Penelope, you know, actually, thing is that you are my customer. You know, you're my loyal customer to make sad my job. But thing is that, uh, you know, I need your help to decline this charge. But uh, you are not uh, comfortable to provide me your detail. I gave you everything. You I even know, gave you my whole social security you, number. Let me tell you. You know I have your whole details. But thing is that, ma'am, it's a company and bank policy. We just need to verify your whole identity. You already did that. I, I mean, you could pull I up know. my whole life Listen with my social me. security number. I know you are a prized person, but thing is that system is only allow me to cancel this charge on your account. First, you need to confirm me the 16 digits card number or your account number. So that is a problem. You need to confirm. Okay, you guys have never done that. You've been able to help me numerous times, including the fraud department, by giving you all the information I just gave you. You never asked, were so adamant about getting my whole credit card number before. It doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, let me tell you, before we cannot uh, set up this policy on the bank side, but right now the bank has a new policy, and they can change our policy. Is it possible? Can I just cancel this card and send you a new one? Yeah, just do that. If that's, what, if that's what we have to do, then that's what we've got to do. Whatever it takes. Perfect. In order to cancel this card and this charge on your account, you need to confirm your card details. Okay? And I'm going to just cancel this card. Next time, nobody can use this card. And you can grab your new Well, card I've already went into the Capital One thing. app, and I've already frozen the card, so nobody's going to be using that, so... Let me tell you, uh, you cannot see this charge on your Capital One app because this charge will be made on your account after 24 to 48 hours. Not anymore, it won't. Not anymore. I froze my account. Apparently, you're telling me somebody's got the number, so I'll leave it frozen. And if you won't cancel the card, then I'll call back the number on my card and have them cancel it. Okay. Are you using online banking app like mobile banking? I'm using, I'm looking at my app right now. Like I told you, I froze it. I froze the card. In this case, I cannot help you out with that. I'm going to just froze your account right now. After 24 to 48 hours, you can get a call from the fraud prevention department because we did not authorize your identity, okay? If you're going to hang up the call uh, or you can call the customer services, maybe they can help you out with that. What? Okay, you're a terrible fraud department that you can't you can't help me with that. I don't understand. It makes no sense at all. This whole thing doesn't because make any you sense. Help me. All right, are you ready for the number? I'm ready whenever you. It's five one seven eight four five zero seven two two eight six zero zero one zero. I've already given you the expiration date and the CVV number. Okay, I did pull up your account now, and the expiration date is six twenty five. And the security code in the back side of your card is 109. Correct. Now, can you please cancel this moment. charge? But right now, you can provide me your card details. It is invalid. You are lying me. Pardon me? You can provide me your card details. It is invalid. 
Let me repeat it back again. Your car numbers. Uh huh. It's five one seven eight. Uh huh. Four five zero seven. Uh huh. Twenty two eighty six. Uh huh. Zero zero. One zero. Mm-hmm. And that is an invalid card number. You're not really from Capital One, are you? So don't just hang up this call, okay? Are you a go scammer? Are you a scammer? Exactly. So you need to go to the branch, right? Uh, actually, if you're a scammer, then this this text that you sent me is from you. There is no fraudulent charge, is there? Mm-hmm. No problem. You can hang up this call. If there was a suspicious charge going on, and the payment will be went through on your card. So next time you can call the bank, and I told you this is the cutting line. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're a scam. Okay, you already admitted you're a scammer. You're not recording this. What a scummy little piece of crap you are. And there he went.